Welcome back to Canadian Goose Studios. Today we'll be ranking all nine Fast and Furious films from worst to best. So let's get right into it. We return. Now, I have no clue why I haven't done the Fast and Furious 9 all ranking movies. I've done Star Wars, I've done Marvel, haven't done Fast and Furious. I might be doing DC. I'll try to do that one. But for right now, we're doing Fast and Furious. So starting off with right away with number 9, which will be Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift is just it's not a very good film. It just sticks out from Fast and Furious because you don't really know any of the characters in it. Like, I guess you know Han, but he's not really a character you really like all the way. The only good scene in it, is, in it was when Vin Diesel appeared at the end and that was still not like the best scene because Vin Diesel was like the only character you actually know in it. Like no characters you know in this movie. It doesn't make sense. But for some of these movies, you do know the characters. Every other single Fast and Furious movie, you know the characters. Not this one. This one is just kind of boring. There's not much to it. I, I guess they go to Tokyo, but it's pretty lame with all the Tokyo stuff. Like when that one guy loses the car race, he's like, ah! <laughs> It's not a very good movie, because none of the char characters are, like, likable. Like, the main dude, I know he's going to be in Fast and Furious 9, if you look very closely. He was in Furious 7, but he's not really a character that I really like, because, you know, when Han died in it, He's like, no, he barely knew Han. All he knew was about Han was that he eats bags of chips. It, it's not a very good movie to me. I think there's so many better movies out there than Fast and F Furious Tokyo Drift, so. <laughs> do not watch this one. You do not need to watch this one, and it is pretty much trash. Moving on to number eight. We have... Too Fast, Too Furious. Now, Too Fast, Too Furious. It's a movie that... Like, I wouldn't say is like bad of any sorts. It's not very good, though. Like, it's kind of a boring film with all of it. I know it was like the second movie of the Fast and Furious, and Fast and Furious wasn't like hugely popular back then, but the stories of it were just racing, and I, I, th this one wasn't like very good comparing to the other ones, like I know it introduced like Ludacris, Tyrese Gibson, but it just didn't really stick to me, it was boring. It was lame. It was plain. You saw what was coming. It wasn't like... Okay, let, let's see. Have you seen the new Fast and Furious 9 trailer? Well, if not, get out of this video and go click on it and then come back. Because Fast and Furious 9 trailer went over the top. And that's what we're expecting out of these Fast and Furious movies. Not some normal car racing stuff. We're expecting over the top. Like Vin Diesel hitting that piece of wood and the wire or rope getting attached to it, him swinging, turning on a rocket boost and shooting up to catch a jet. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It is, but Too Fast, Too Furious isn't holding the stupid stuff that Fast and Furious is about. And it's not really like it's all about family. I'm not even sure Vin Diesel's in this one, so it's not very good. I would not recommend this one. You don't have to watch it, and it's not a fun film. It's boring and chunky. Don't watch it. Moving on to number seven, 
Fast and Furious. This movie is just a plain boring movie. You don't know who the villain is. Like, like at least Vin Diesel and Paul Walker are in it, but it's not like a very good film. I'm not a fan of this film. I probably will not ever watch it again. It's one of those movies you'll watch once and never watch again because it's just a boring film. It's not very entertaining. It, same with this one. It doesn't hold the stuff that Fast and Furious 9, 5, 6, well, 6 isn't awesome, but, you know, not all of them hold this, right? But some of them hold some great, crazy action stuff <laughs> like Hobbs and Shaw, but... This one doesn't like I know going into the cave, all that 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 actually what we want. But you don't really get the villain. Like I know Cypher's a big villain. Idris Elba as Brixton was a great villain. You actually learn what happened to him without even going into like um flashback or anything. Like they really showed it what happened. But for this one it doesn't really show anything. And it, I'm not a fan of this one. So you don't have to watch this one. You can, but it's not like you have to. <sighs> Moving on to number six. Fast and Furious 6. Hmm. Funny, right? <sighs> Fast and Furious 6 is a movie that, you know, it went pretty over the top. Which is what we want from Fast and Furious. There was tank driving on the highway. There was um, cars crashing planes down. Like, uh, it was huge. It was absolutely huge. And I can imagine people really liking this one. I'm not a, really a fan of this one, you know. It's not very good. I don't really like it that much. Like, once it gets to the next one, I really like them. But this movie had some huge, huge stuff. You get to know the villain. Like, you know Owen Shaw. I'm not a fan of that villain. But you know him. And the action in this movie is great. Uh, yeah, it just comes down to the villains. I'm not a fan of them. Like, there's a couple of them. I'm not really a fan. And it's not my favorite movie, but, you know, it's a movie I'll probably watch maybe in a couple of years or so. At least it's not the other ones. <laughs> well, moving on to number five, we have The Fate of the Furious. Now, The Fate of the Furious is a recent movie. It came out three years ago. <laughs> that is a long time. I wasn't, like, into Fast and Furious back then. But... This movie is more about family than all the other Fast and Furious movies. This one, like, has Vin Diesel, like, wanting to get his son back. Like, this one's kind of a slow movie, but I do like this movie. I would say it's a good movie. I wouldn't say it's really good or awesome or anything. It's a good movie. I like this movie. It also good. I think it goes over the top, like, uh, the cars falling down. <laughs> where Vin Diesel was driving over, uh, where they had to go to Russia and the submarine. Oh my god. This movie is full of stupidness. And that's what I'm looking for in Fast and Furious. And Hoard's a great villain. Cypher is a great villain. Really do like that. It's a bit slower than most Fast and Furious movies. Like, you know, it starts in Cuba. That's good. But it's slower. Which isn't what we're all the way looking for but you know it's kind of playing out also you can tell what's gonna happen it's not really intense it's kind of cute like it's a bit weird because Shaw puts on the headphones like I know it's funny and all but still it's not like amazing or anything but it's a nice film to the franchise and I like it I think it's good Moving on to number four, Fast Five. Now, Fast Five. This movie is full of stupidness, like more than fa The Fate of the Furious. This one is like dragging a bank around the city. Like, 
how stupid can this be? And this movie, like, brought the family together, like, Tyrese Gibson, Ludacris, Vin Diesel, Jordan Brewster, uh, Paul Walker, The Rock, this is the movie he got introduced in, um, Han, I don't know his name, Gal Gadot, uh, we, we got most of all the actors in this movie, and they all got brought together to do this one bank robbery. It's a fun movie. I'm not like one to rewatch this movie, but it's a bit weird how it goes to Brazil. Like all that's a bit strange. And then The Rock chasing them down. Like why does he want to chase them down again? It's a bit forgettable, you know, but it's a great movie other than that. And I really do like this movie. Like I wouldn't say it's really good. I would say it's on the good, like 70 to 80 up there. It's a good movie. I think the action in this movie is great. Just, like, going to Brazil didn't really make sense to me. Like, Incredible Hulk, how he was in Brazil, it didn't make sense. But, you know, it, it's, a, it's a good film to the franchise because it brought everyone together, and now we see them in every single movie. It's fun and great. Moving on to number three, we have The Fast and the Furious. This movie is the original Fast and Furious movie. I think this movie was like so original, you know? It was just street racing. That's practically what the movie is. Like now they're having these big bad villains. Like I compare Hobbs and Shaw to this one. Hobbs and Shaw has a super soldier fighting. And then we have Fast and Furious. And the most cinematic scene in this movie is where they jump the train. And, you know, I think if you look back on Cars and watch this movie, Cars is just a ripoff of Fast and Furious. And that's why I don't like Cars. But Fast and Furious 1 is a really good movie. I really like this one. It's very different from the other Fast and Furious movies. It's just... The first film in the franchise, and... They didn't know where it would go, and it introduced Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Jordan Brewster, uh, Michelle Rodriguez. So, sorry, forgot to include her in Fast Five. But you know, it brought all these characters like together, and then it brought them into Fast Five, which brought them all together. But Fast and Furious was the start of all the Fast and Furious. Came out two thousand one. So next year in 2021, it's going to be their 20th anniversary. So I'm pretty sure Fast and Furious 10 will come out then. So I'm pretty sure Cypher will be around and they'll have to like save the moon or something in this 10th Fast and Furious movie. But Fast and Furious 1 is definitely one you should watch. And I'll probably be doing reviews on all these. So don't worry about that. I know I'm just doing them fast, so this video isn't like too, too long, but you know, it, it should be long enough. It, the Fast and Furious is great franchise. Love it, and this movie is the start of it. There's been some r rough patches, but I think this one's a good movie. I definitely recommend this one. Moving on to number two, we have Hobbs and Shaw. No, it, it was hard for me to decide if Hobbs and Shaw was better than Furious 7, but I think Hobbs and Shaw is a little bit, like, not as good, but I love this movie so much. Uh, this movie goes insane for what's happening. Like, the rock holding the metal or chain, whatever it was, to hold the trucks and the helicopter together, like... <laughs> This movie was absolutely insane. The first spin-off in The Fast and Furious was one of the best films. I just love Hobbs and Shaw so much. It's such a great movie. The action in it is insane. The the actors, like you got Dwayne Johnson, Jason Statham, Vanessa Kirby, Idris Elba, Ryan Reynolds, Kevin Hart. You got so many people in this movie. And I gotta say, I do re really, really like this movie. 2019 holds some great movies. Hobbs and Shaw was definitely on my top 10 list or top 9, wh wherever it was. 
it was such a good movie. I thoroughly enjoyed this one in theaters. And I was laughing my ass off. <laughs> it's such a good movie. But moving on to number one, which do you know what this one is? Furious 7. Furious 7 should be the end of Fast and Furious. And I'm glad it isn't, but it should have been. And this movie was such a great movie. This one was had the most satisfying ending to practically any movie I've ever seen. I I thought this movie was great with its action. It went over the top. Well, it didn't go like too over the top, but it still was over the top with everything like Vin Diesel going down a mountain and surviving. Uh, what else was there? The, where the rock crashed through a window and survived, fell in a car. The final battle with Jason Statham and Vin Diesel and where Vin Diesel shot his car to hit the helicopter and blow it up. Oh, Jason Statham as Deckard Shaw is probably the best villain in this franchise. He is such a good villain and he can turn good. Like that's what I love about um, Deckard Shaw. He can turn good or bad. Well, he's, he was bad, but he turned good. And I love the banter between uh, Dwayne Johnson, Jason Statham, Deckard Shaw, and Luke Hobbs. I love that banter. I really do love this movie so much. <sighs> Had some great action, some great battles, like that final one with Deckard Shaw and Vin Diesel, I already said, but they were holding like the wrenches and hitting each other with that. <sighs> It is such a good movie. I definitely recommend this one. <laughs> it is so good. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Well, that has been my review, uh, my ranking, sorry, on all nine Fast and Furious movies from worst to best. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like.